Welcome back to Precision Fitness. I'm Matt. This is Mark. Today we're going to go over our second T-spine mobility and activation video. So this one's a little bit more intermediate. We're going to combine a couple mobility drills and activation drills with other mobility from different parts of the body. The first thing we're going to show here is a little bit of SMR here with a peanut. So you're going to take two lacrosse balls or tennis balls taped or connected together, lay them on the ground. You want to get them right between the shoulder blades, crossing our arms across each other. And what we can do to make this a little bit more difficult is add an overhead reach, keep the arm locked out, get the thumb back to the ground behind you, and you're coming back down. Come back up and over again. You can bring your hand to the outside a little bit like you would for a scaption as well. And our next mobility thing we're gonna show you is a back facing wall slide. So in our last video, we showed a front facing wall slide. This one's gonna require a little bit more mobility. Keep your heels up against the wall, Core is tight, glutes are locked in, arms are at 90 degrees, slide up, maintaining contact with the back, low back, upper back, hands and elbows all the way through. Back down, make sure we're squeezing our lats as we come down. All right, then next, we got a standing broomstick T-spine mobility. What we're looking for here is a nice big stretch across the chest. Keep the hips stable, core is tight. Don't allow the body to rotate as we're coming around. And what we can do to make this even better, we're going to couple this with our L rear foot elevated hip quad mobility. So right leg's elevated up, that means our stick's coming off to the left side to get the cross body stretch here. Squeeze the glutes, lock the hips in, stick's coming off to our left. Good. The next one we have is going to be a lat stretch. You'll get down your hands and knees, keep your elbows up on the edge of a bench, core is tight. Hips come back, hands go overhead, and you're dropping your head down between the hole that your arms are making between the bench. Make sure you shift your hips back as you do this, maintaining a nice neutral spine. Now we're gonna move into some activation drills. We're gonna start in a push-up position, and just like our scat push-up that we showed you last time, now we're gonna do it from a full push-up position. So we're gonna drop our shoulders together, chest towards the ground, extend back up. Same thing, no sagging of the hips, neutral spine all the way through. Shoulders pinched, we extend back up. Next, we're going to do a full push-up, and we're going to come up and do a downward dog. So what that means is our hips go back, head comes in between our arms. Notice how Mark here has a nice neutral spine all the way through. His hips may move, but his spine stays in a neutral position all the way. And finally, we have a band pull-apart. Mark has his band here on the ground. Just like our first one, we did it in front of our body the whole time. Now we're going to do it up and over. Big stretch down, back up over his head. Try not to make the grimacing face. You can increase the tension by moving your hands closer together. Up and over, big stretch, back and front. And that's everything we got for you guys with our intermediate version of the T-spine mobility and activation.